Okay, so this is how you set up the minimum OSD. This is the micro minimum OSD on the uh, CC3D Revo without one of these FTDI breakout board. They could be a pain. Screw that. We don't need it with this. You can use your Flexi IO port. And I'll put a diagram up here in just a second to show you which wires go to which because you skip a couple and there's two missing in the middle there. So you need, I think it's eight pins and where they plug at uh, into on the OSD micro. This is the Flexi IA port pinout that you need to be worried about. Um, one, two, seven, eight. You can see is the ground, the power, uh, I think out and in, and then nine is the uh, programming thing. So you have to have this plugged in. If you look at this picture, you can pause the video and see where they're plugging into. Uh, the colors don't line up. Mine are all white. I got red and black and all white. So as long as you connect them the same way, you'll be all right. I'll put a link in the description to uh, this website so you can see. The first thing you want to do is uh, change the receiver port to the Flexi IO port. So you get your Libre pilot and you want to plug it in. After you plug it in, get a configuration tab and the hardware tab. You're going to change the receiver port to Combridge, speed 5700, USB telemetry, telemetry, uh, Combridge and 5700, and hit save. And then you have to unplug it and plug it back in to reboot your board. Once you reboot, you go to your device manager. I'm using Windows 10. And under the ports, it will have the virtual COM port resolution listed. Make sure that's on there, and then you want to disconnect everything and connect the wires to the OSD. You're going to need some software here. Um, the config tool, you just click it, and it's an instant download, I believe. Uh, if you have a decent speed computer, um, make that in the character set and the firmware. And you click the firmware downloads. This right here is the list of the ones you can choose. I think I'm using this one, so uh. Yeah, download that and you'll be good. Next, you want to open your config tool that you just downloaded. You're probably going to extract it, OSD config. And you can choose a COM port that it was listed in the other one. Uh, shut. Must have closed it. COM port 6 is mine, okay? So you get back here, COM port 6 is the only one that's given me. Um, you hit read from OSD, it should come right on. And it pops up blue. Okay, we can fix this. The problem is, is that I don't have my battery plugged in. Um, the plus five volts do have to come in off the receiver, so the USB that you're using to power your flight controller is not going to be enough to do that. So I'm plug in my battery. Sorry for that. Alright. That should be enough. I'll try it again here. It's on downloading data. See? You need the extra power. Um, the flight controller and the USB port doesn't provide enough. Then you go to update firmware and, uh, you know, click it and upload whichever one you downloaded. After that, same with the character set and upload that. Um, you want to hit save the current tab and you should be good to go. You can change the panels, what you want on here, and it'll show it. After it's all set up the way you want it to be, go back to your configuration hardware and change it to the receiver port telemetry, speed is 700, and then USB telemetry, and disable the other one. You'll have to change it again if you need to reprogram, but now you will get to see your. Uh, output from the flight controller onto your OSD. That's it. You got your minimum OSD micro or regular version connected to your CC3D revolution and you're controlling it through the Flexi IO port. Way better than using the uh, FTID. I've never had a good event with these things. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever. Comment. Bye.